And there are drums beyond the mountain, Indian drums that you can't hear. There are drums beyond the mountain, and they're getting mighty near. From the Indian reservation to the governmental school, well, they're going to educate me to the white man's golden rule. And I'm learning very quickly, for I've learned to be ashamed. And I come when they call Arnold, though I've got an Indian name. White Hass Kalhalt, and welcome to episode 7 of the Medhaw Valley Interpretive Center's Notes from the Center. Season 2, First People of the Medhaw Map. Now up here in Winthrop at Homestream Park, a place dedicated to welcoming back salmon and the First Peoples of the Medhaw as well. As you can see behind me, I've got some big spring, maybe summer, Chinook on their spawning bed. You can see the females on her side digging a red, which is what a salmon nest is called. And a couple of males are waiting to fertilize those eggs. This is a piece of art and a way to educate about salmon created by Smoker Marchand, who is a member of the Confederated Tribes of the Colville Reservation. And this piece of art is called It The Water is Life. Come to Homestream Park and check out some of his other pieces, beautiful depictions uh, in metal. One well, of the beautiful things that Homestream Park has done so well is to integrate interpretive signs like the one behind me and also with pieces of art, which we can see in the background. Smoker Marchand's piece, Water is Life, as well as a replica of a, of a fire lookout with an osprey nest on top, which was carved and put together by Bruce Morrison. One of my favorite interpretive panels here at Homestream Park is on this lovely creature here, the Pacific Lamprey. Talk about a link to the past. Lampreys are members of the ancient class of vertebrate fish known as Agnatha, meaning jawless, whose fossils date their existence back 450 million years. That's 200 million years before dinosaurs roamed the planet. Similar to salmon, lamprey are anadromous fish spawning in rivers like the Medhow, migrating to the ocean, and returning to spawn their next generation. They too are threatened by the same human impacts that have put salmon at risk. An essential part of the aquatic food web, we must ensure their survival too. The threats to anadromous fish like the Pacific lamprey can be talked about by remembering the four H's, hydropower, habitat, harvest, and hatcheries. Come to Humtream Park and learn more about what you can do to help ensure the survival of Pacific lamprey and other aquatic species in the Medhaw watershed. Did you know that there are nine dams that salmon, steelhead, and lamprey have to get around as they migrate to the Pacific Ocean and then back up to their home streams here in the Medhaw watershed? Here at Homestream Park, there are nine dams placed along this trail behind me that represent those nine dams. Come check them out. Try to climb over them. See what it's like. I'm now down here at the other end of Homestream Park at another one of Smoker Marchand's art and education installations called Pachyap, which means coming home. And in here you can see a depiction of what a traditional salmon camp may have looked like. Wherever you may call home, whether it's the Medhow, river watershed, or another watershed. Please come to this place and enjoy the quiet, the solitude, and the connection that you may feel to this floodplain, this river, to this story, to this place and her people. Thank you. White Ihiput. <laughs>